Hi, I'm Realtor Bert Tade. I'm also broker owner of Santino Properties LLC, and I want to talk to you a little bit about our sipping coffee or tea video series. It's an educational series uh, which is meant to uh, help the audience sift through the hype, the hoopla, and yes, sometimes even media negativity surrounding the real estate industry. So uh, I have a four part series I'm going to start and it is on first time home buying as a topic. So it's no uh, secret that here we are in the summer of 2024 and uh, we've had a um, zero interest rate uh, declines and they were uh, anticipating between two and four this year. Uh, our last uh, during our last uh, uh, Fed meeting, uh, that is the uh, uh, FOMC, the Federal Open Market Committee, uh, they chose to keep rates the same. And now uh, we're hearing that inflation is not under control yet. So there's a possibility that the rates could even go up. So they're currently hovering around 7%, which, by the way, is still well below the historical average. I've talked to you about this before that uh, seven point seven six percent is the historical average on the uh, the study that I did going back to nineteen seventy one from they first started to um, assemble and track these uh, thirty year fixed mortgage rates. Uh, so we're still below that average. However, uh, now more than ever, education is a very very important uh, aspect uh, of the real estate industry, right? So uh, we want to talk to you a little bit more about uh, the, uh, this series. Uh, the topic is a first time home buying, right? And I'm going to break it down into four steps. Uh, it's going to be the steps to buying a home. That's, that's today's topic. And then the next one is going to be uh, understanding mortgage options. The third video will be importance of credit scores. And the fourth one, saving for a down payment. So I think that by covering these four very, very important topics, uh, we're going to uh, help you navigate uh, through uh, that very complex process, but also give you some some good tips that you can um, uh, that can help you in your pursuits to buying a home for the first time. Right now, more than ever, again, if six point eight five percent or seven percent, whatever is now, well, in the foreseeable future, the norm, we want to make sure that, that you're making good decisions. Uh, education, uh, uh, financial decisions surrounding um, the purchase of a home. So the first one again is uh, uh, steps to buying a home. So let's talk about those, right? First of all, we need for you to consider determining a budget. Like anything else that you do, if it's a renovation project or if it's even just your 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 monthly expenses, a budget is so important for you to establish and adhere to, right? So you're going to want to assess your financial situation uh, by reviewing your income, your expenses, your savings, because what's going to happen is that the lenders, and we'll talk about that in another video series again, um, uh, uh, understanding mortgage options, that uh, that's the second video, but we're going to talk a little bit more about that, but they're going to, uh, they're going to establish your DTI, your debt to income ratio. It's a correlation between how much you have coming in each month and how much you have going out each month, right? That's DTI, debt to income. But you're going to want to look at your 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 income, your expenses, and your savings. And this, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, suggest that you use, you use online calculators to estimate, you know, how much you can spend, uh, um, you know, in order for you to afford a home. There's a lot of really great tools out there. Just Google it, right? I mean, again. Um, affordability calculator or uh, home purchase calculator or something along those lines. Uh, the second uh, tip that we have for you um, in uh, the steps to buying a home is going to be to get pre-approved for mortgage. Uh, so you're going to want to contact uh, lenders to get approved for, by, uh, for mortgage. But remember that I've talked about this in other educational videos that we've done that the uh, the mortgage when you're applying for a mortgage you don't want to have your credit pulled a hundred times right but at the same time the credit bureaus uh, are going to treat that as one hard pull okay it's going to count it's going to take a couple points off your score but it's part of uh, the process right of, of you getting approved for the mortgage 
it's a hard pool. However, if you can any you can keep any subsequent pools of your credit, if you want to shop around for what the best rate and terms um, and financing uh, terms, you know, for your loan, that you're definitely going to want to sh shop around. And those subsequent pools, as long as they're within 45 days, they should be treated by the credit bureaus as uh, as zero points off your score. And why is that? Well, because we as um, consumers in America have the uh, option and yes, the right, frankly, in a free market society to shop around for the best situation uh, for ourselves and our families, uh, if that's the case. Uh, so you definitely want to uh, uh, contact a couple of different lenders. You're going to, have to fill out an application. You have to be pretty detailed. You're going to, have to give them a lot of paperwork. They're going to ask you for things sometimes in duplicate, even triplicate, but they're they're adhering to the laws. Right after the the, the bubble burst uh, back in 2008, uh, due to the subprime uh, lending market, uh, the feds came in and under the Dodd Frank Act, they made it very very uh, stringent as to uh, what those lending guidelines are going to be. Right, and they're there to protect you, the consumer, at the end of the day. Uh, the second thing uh, as a part of getting pre-approved for a mortgage is, of course, you know, the, uh, for the pre-approval is that they're going to issue to you once they've checked your credit and your income and so forth uh, and ran that DTI study I was talking about. They're going to give you a clear idea of how much you can borrow. Uh, and it also shows the sellers because they're going to issue you a, a letter, a lender letter, and that's going to show the sellers that you're serious. You're a true RWA buyer. You're ready, you're willing, you're able. You're ready to go uh, to buy a house. You're willing to go under contract. You're able to buy, which is evidenced by this lender letter I'm talking about. Very, very important. Those have to be a written uh, a copy or a digital copy that you can submit with a written offer. So no matter what real estate professional you're working with, you they're going to ask you, um, you know, to, to have something substantive that we can show uh, with, to a company you're offered that uh, so you can demonstrate to the sellers that you're uh, an, uh, a buyer who has achieved RWA status. Uh, the third um, aspect, again, going back to what we just said, is you're going to hire a real estate agent. Uh, now, this is not necessarily a video that's going to, hey, this is who I am, this is what I can do. and They wouldn't be education if that were the case, right? Uh, we do have a number of, of programs uh, that we offer that nobody else offers. Let me just say that. Uh, we have a Perfect Home Finder program that we've talked about in other videos. We will help you, help you off uh, find off-market properties or pre-market listings based on the criteria, what you're looking for. Uh, we spend our own money out of our pocket, uh, our marketing dollars, to help you find that special house you're looking for off-market so that you're the only one that knows it's even available for sale not a pocket listing it's we're going to approach the sellers i'm working with a million dollar buyer right now they they literally we literally uh contacted over 500 sellers and seven came back one percent a little over one percent response rate but i tell you what that's seven houses where the sellers raised their hand and said yeah sure yeah we were interested in selling yeah tell us what you got and uh tell us more about your buyer okay so we also have a, a, a purchase guarantee. Just just reach out to me. Uh, uh, the number should be listed above here, the post or down below. It's basically 210-376-TALK if you have any questions about that. Uh, but uh, you're going to want to find someone who is experienced uh, in the real estate uh, business and then understands your needs. So they're going to ask you a lot of questions. Make sure they, they ask you a lot of questions. And you might even want to uh, 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 go through a list of several of them. Uh, and an agent can guide you through the process and provide market insights as well as helping with negotiations. Now, here we are at the beginning of the summer. Remember, by the end of the summer, things will be changing as a part of that uh, National Association of Realtors settlement. Uh, there were a number of, um, of lawsuits filed against uh, our National Association uh, for some reason. You want to look that up and kind of do some research. Uh, they were, they tried to point the finger at us and say that we were uh, there was price collusion happening, uh, which was not the case. Nobody's in a smoky room, you know, with a bunch of competitors. 
speaking to other competitors about what to, to set a price at to charge the the buyers and or the sellers i mean come on anyway whatever um that's a whole other video uh let's just stick to the facts and that is that uh starting by august if not early september uh we can expect for uh your buyer representative if you choose to hire somebody competent and knowledgeable and wise in the real estate business they will require you to sign something right but in writing it's by law in before they even put you in the car so to speak right even if you're following them in the car right whatever that is before they show you a house uh we have to have you uh we have to go over a brokerage services and talk to you a little bit more about what it is that we do as, as industry professionals to help you purchase a home and what we charge okay so the the fourth one and the last one is going to be hey start house hunting right and um you know you want to want to make a list of the must-haves in a home and you want you're going to want to visit open houses uh, and schedule private showings, you know, to find properties and meet your criteria. Now, when you do uh, visit those open houses, I'm gonna let you in on a little uh, a real estate secret and let you know that a lot of those agents are out there looking for buyer clients. They're not looking to sell that house that they're holding open. They're looking to get you on uh, from a list, uh, create a list and you, with your name on it so they can try to continue marketing to you for their services. There's an industry tip that uh, nobody else is going to tell you about. That's a little dirty little secret about real estate. So mm, just be careful how you delve out your information when you do go to open houses. Um, I'll give you a couple of really quick uh, other tips that I'm going to um, offer to you uh, as, a, as a part of, uh, the, of course, the home buying process, uh, you know, steps to buying a home. Uh, you're going to make an offer, obviously, eventually, and you're going to work with your this agent, this aforementioned agent, to... Uh, craft a competitive offer, you know, based on market conditions, empirical data uh, on other homes that have sold in that neighborhood in the last, you know, two to three months, ideally. You want the most recent data. And of course, be prepared to negotiate with the seller uh, on price and terms through your agent once again, because you should be represented uh, by somebody competent that can, uh, that can speak for you. Uh, and then uh, get a home inspection. I, I don't, recommend you get a home inspection i insist upon it. if you're working with me uh, i insist upon getting a home inspection because you're going to hire a, a, a professional home inspector to evaluate the condition of the property and uh, you're going to use that inspection report uh, to address any issues and of course negotiate repairs right another bonus tip is that you're going to uh, when you secure financing you're going to finalize that mortgage application uh, with that that lender that you have chosen and you're going to provide all the, the documentation again. Remember, it's going to be in duplicate, even triplicate. They're going to ask you for that same stuff. It's going to be people come to me all the time. Why is my lender asking me for so much stuff? I don't get it. Just tell them to stop. <laughs> you're not going to stop. They, they, they face a ten, no, $100,000 fine if they're, they haven't crossed the T's and dotted the I's on their paperwork. Those files have to be impeccable, folks. That's a part of uh, the Dodd-Frank Act and the CFPB, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which is their regulatory arm, right? They're, they're cops, right, for the uh, Dodd-Frank Act. And finally, you know, close the deal, you know. Um, you know, you're going to review the closing disclosure uh, and ensure that all the details are correct. They have to give you your initial CD, closing disclosure, three days before consummation, which is closing, right? It's a fancy way. That's one of the crazy words that came out of um, you know, the, the Dodd-Frank Act. And uh, basically, uh, we count every day except Sunday and holidays, right? So, uh, Tuesday, uh, they issue the closing disclosure. You acknowledge it however your lender requires you to. Either just open the email or sign it, whatever it is. And then Tuesday is not day one. Wednesday is day one. Thursday is day two. And then you can close on the third day, which is Friday. Okay, that's how the closing disclosure works. And of course, attend, uh, you know, the closing, uh, you know, to sign all the necessary paperwork and receive the keys to your new home. Now, it doesn't, they're not going to hand you the keys there. It requires funding. Uh, but if you have any questions about any of the, the tips that I've given you, um, I've given you some bonus tips in there uh, about uh, the steps to buying a home. 
I'm Realtor Bert Tade, and I'm also broker owner Santino Properties LLC. Uh, 210376 Talk is the phone number if you have any questions. This has been Sipping Coffee or Tea with Realtor Bert Tade. Hopefully, uh, you found you're finding this educational series interesting uh, and uh, very educational in your pursuits to buy a home. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching my video. And don't forget, we've got three others in this series.